What do Spider-Man, Hiroshima, and tens of unsuspecting U.S. hospital patients have in common? Radiation exposure, which in the 1940s baffled scientists. In 1942, as the Second World War raged overseas, the U.S. government launched the Manhattan Project, a top-secret research program to create the world's first nuclear bomb. But no one knew how the radioactive materials used to build the bomb affected the human body. So a Project Health Division was formed to find out. Scientists began by experimenting on rats and mice, but the tests proved inconclusive. So Stafford Warren, head of the Manhattan Project's medical team, put forward the idea for human trials. The plan was agreed, and between 1945 and 1947, at four Manhattan Project-affiliated hospitals across the country, 30 patients were chosen as human guinea pigs and unwittingly injected with plutonium, uranium, and americium. Scientists studied these subjects in secrets to find out how much radiation a human body could tolerate and develop new safety protocols. It remains unknown if the experiments contributed to the eventual deaths of the subjects. But in 1993, a sensational expose in the Albuquerque Tribune revealed details of the secret experiments for the very first time. And an investigation led by the Department of Energy ultimately concluded that the trials had been unethical. In 1997, Congress passed new laws that prohibit secretive scientific experiments on humans to this day. Is it unethical for scientists to conduct experiments on the few in order to protect the many?